The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Sometimes you just need a second and third opinion on someone, something that's uh, you know surrounding your life, and it, you don't want it to be anybody emotionally invested in your situation that can just look at it from a very like. Uh, you know, unemotional point of view. So we ask that, you know, if that's your situation, you just shoot us a message at Ben and Kelly show and we'll throw it out to the group. See if uh, we can help you out. Uh, the number before we get into this, 502-571-9970. Kelly, you want to take this one? Okay, absolutely. So this is one that we've got up on Facebook as well. You mm-hmm. can uh, chime in there at Ben and Kelly show. Uh, it says, hey, Ben and Kelly, I need help. I'm currently six months pregnant with my husband's and my first child. Congratulations. Yes. Close friend of ours got engaged a few months ago and has asked my husband to be a groomsman. All right. The bachelor party will be in Mexico for five days and will cost us roughly $1,500 and will be happening when our newborn will be three months old. Oh. Yeah. He's a people pleaser. Okay. And friends are super important to him. Now, this is all making me feel like our baby and I are less important. Yeah. So now, whether he goes or not, I already feel hurt because he wants to. Gotcha. Is it bad for me to tell him he can't go? Is it bad if he pushes back and goes anyway? Oh, yeah, that's... Thanks for your opinion. Yeah. um, So... I know that I took a trip to New York, not Mexico, mind you, and it was only for like 36 hours, but I took the trip when my wife was pregnant with Zoe and within a couple weeks of her giving birth. And so it was like, so help me God. If this, if, if this, I know, I know bird. that, 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 <laughs> that conversation was had. It was a, yeah. you get, you can go on the trip, but just know if the baby comes early and yeah. you miss the birth of your own child, oh, you can't get that. <laughs> right, 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 right. You really can't. Now, now the good thing is here, the baby should be here. Yeah, the, the baby will be, be on the ground. It's old. Yep. So, yeah. So there isn't a danger of missing the birth, which I think would be a bigger deal in this situation. Now, I'll say this. My husband and my OB mm-hmm. both went to a Jimmy Buffett concert out of town when I was literally days away from my due date. Okay. So and I had the same conversation. I said, so help me God. <laughs> if you both miss the birth of this child, right. there, and it was our first. Yeah. That was with Jacob. Yeah. Uh, okay. It so was fine, though. I get it from a financial standpoint. You know, she's looking at it like, okay, we're, we're going to have a newborn. Newborns are expensive. It's going to cost around 1500 bucks. You're going to be gone for five days. Now, listen, three months in, that's kind of where the family all kind of goes home, you know? Like, yeah, you, well, you know, and you know, I, our kids started daycare at two months. Yeah, so I. And I went back to work. So, who? Okay, all right. 502 571 9970. Um, I'd love your opinion on this because right now I'm kind of like. I feel like let him go because, you know, like like we said, the birth of a child you can't get back. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, this hopefully this is person's only going to have one bachelor party and he is, you know, he's a groomsman. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, at, yeah. At Ben and too. Kelly show uh, this group therapy. We heard from a listener whose husband is a groomsman and their good friend's upcoming wedding. He's going to be a part and uh, invited to the bachelor party, which is in Mexico for five days. Here's the thing. She's going to have their first kid about three months prior to this bachelor party. So there's going to be a newborn in the family. And now she's all like, ah. Is it too much? I don't want him to go. Yeah, to ask me not to go. 
What, 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 and then she's also what do you hurt because he wants to go. But I don't, I don't know if she's got the right to be upset about that because, I mean, what guy wouldn't want to go to Mexico for five days on a bachelor party? Um, yeah, so uh, your comments real quick. Um, we've got one from Joy. She, was, she said, this sounds like the plot of The Hangover 5. Yes. Absolutely. That is true. And then Amy was like, yeah, I think she has to let him go. But the real question is, who in the heck is a five-day bachelor party? That's not a party. That's a vacation. So on True statement. Yeah. Right there. On Facebook, Casey's like, I think a baby is more important than a trip to Mexico and people-pleasing. He should be people-pleasing his family. I, however, think it's highly unfair of you to be mad at him for wanting to go if he doesn't go then that means he chose his family over having a good time people should all uh, be able to uh, want something without judgment it doesn't necessarily mean he will do it also you probably just need to talk to him and let him know how you're feeling communication is important in a marriage yeah casey does have a point there and then uh several people um like jamie's like hey everyone needs a break i'd let him go and then when he comes back you get the break uh, so oh, absolutely. Yeah. Erica was kind of saying the same thing. She says, girl, let him go and be happy about it. <laughs> if you hold him back from going, he's going to be resentful. You're going to feel bad for controlling the situation. At three months old, baby will be old enough to have a routine and both parents will want to break from each other anyway. <laughs> yeah. Ariana on Facebook is like, well, maybe don't go to another country during a pandemic. Well, then there's that whole topic. But <laughs> there is also that topic. Also, I'm just wondering, listen, for the bride, of the groom like is she salty that her groom wants to go off to mexico for five days like what is their honeymoon gonna look like because that's sounding like a honeymoon to me i think that's a completely different scenario situation that maybe maybe we can bring it up though maybe we could dig into (laughs) and 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 uh message back (laughs) hey can you get us in touch with this bride because we'd like to know this situation here Uh, yeah i really feel like the entire situation revolves around the decision to have a five-day bachelor party in mexico i think everything all the problems are rooted in that choice listen to be fair though it's not the groom's decision it's the best man's decision and so the best man is all like, let's do this. And then, you know. That is true. Now let's blame the best man. Who is the best man? Um, all right. Brandy <laughs> writes on Facebook, uh, having to take care of a baby by yourself is hard. Don't get no time for yourself. And when they go to sleep, then you can take a shower or whatever you want to do. But you'll lose sleeping time, which is important because you'll be tired. Uh, but I would try to make an agreement with him that if he goes, then you get to go somewhere for five days. Uh, but you probably won't want to go and leave the baby for that long. <laughs> I was going to say, there's not a lot of real new parents that I know, I know that want to just go leave for five days. I mean, this is like, you know, extenuating circumstances out of his control. Mm-hmm. But I don't think, you know, mom's going to be like, fine, now I get my five-day vacation with a, you know, a very, very new baby that's just kind of not now, what I do. think I think communication is key here because I do agree with several people that are like, listen, you can't necessarily get mad at him for wanting to go. Um, yeah. But y- you can talk to him about your feelings and you guys can just kind of discuss the whole thing. All right, you know, fifteen hundred dollars. If it's going to be about that, what's our budget? And then figure out a budget, and then what it's going to cost, and all that. And then maybe you can look at a compromise and say, okay, maybe I can ask my mom to come down and help, or or come over and help, you know, while you're gone. Because you know, I look at and and this isn't exactly the same, but uh, my dad gave me uh, football tickets for a uh, a big football game, the Ohio State Michigan football game. Uh, while my wife was super, super pregnant and she had just uh, burned her foot, injuring herself so she couldn't walk. So she was on um, uh, uh, in a wheelchair oh, wow. and oh, my that is very bad timing. <laughs> and my daughters, uh, my older two daughters had an Irish dance competition in <gasps> Michigan. So. Oh, wow. Did you go to the game, sir? That is a lot that you were leaving. Yes. Yes, How I yes I did. did. You pay for that choice. So so I bring that up to say that they're you know we're fine. Everything's fine. You know. Were there consequences for a while though for you, sir? No, no I mean not really. She'll bring up every now and then just a 
oh, kind of like you left me when I was pregnant and had a burned foot, you know, to go go watch a football game. You know, she'll bring yep. she'll bring that up, you know. And so I I have that to live with. But you know, it's it's not like animosity towards me when she says it. No, and it it's wasn't just, five days in Mexico. No, exactly. So maybe just communication, I think, is what we're saying. Uh, but and and okay. maybe and maybe she can get you know uh, one of the parents to come help her during yeah during i don't the time. think that she says tells him you can't go yeah. I, I think that's going to cause some damage to and he's going to end up resenting her for that and you don't want resentment to start to build mm-hmm. in the marriage but you know i think she definitely lets him know hey this is not ideal yeah all right this is not ideal all right <laughs> Okay, if uh, if you've been listening to this and you've got some things to say, but whatever, you're in the car and you can't uh, uh, chime in, that's cool. We've got it posted up on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show. You can read what other people have written, and then you can uh, uh, let your opinion be heard as well. At Ben and Kelly Show.